Blessed day everyone! You're watching Hope Filipino Media Channel. My name is Maui and I'm your host for this episode of Hashtag Hope Over Fear Story. Have you seen our previous videos? If not, you can still check on it on our YouTube channel. And if you happen to like the videos, just give us a thumbs up. And we want to hear your thoughts. Just comment down below. And for today's episode, it's going to be extra special and very timely because our testifier is a frontliner and health worker here in Singapore. Let's give a warm salute to Nurse Mikar. Hey, Nurse Mikar. How are you? How's life and your work since the circuit breaker and this pandemic started? Hi, Sis Maui. Yes, life is tough at work, but still pretty grateful to the Lord because He remains faithful even in the midst of this COVID crisis. Amen. Our viewers would like to know more about yourself, so tell us a brief introduction. I am Marika Rahosta. You can call me Mikar for short. And I am a nurse working in NCIB here in Singapore. And I, together with my husband, we are leading Courageous One Family Life Group. Can you tell us what was your situation before? At the jumpstart of this COVID-19 outbreak comes my eagerness to still continue serving in the ministry. It is also in this um, crucial season that me and my husband, we are called to step up as leaders for our family life group. As I am one of those who can't stay at home to care for our COVID patients every day. And it ever crossed my mind, why not I distance myself until this um, COVID crisis is over, so not to cause fear among my family and friends in the church. So how did you respond to this situation? I kept myself in remembrance of who God is with or without this COVID crisis. I chose not to be fearful, not to be discouraged as I continue to meet and have fellowship with my uh, life group and even family and friends in the church. I chose not to entertain the thoughts of what if? And I press on in hope that God is in control. So I am truly blessed uh, that I am surrounded with so loving, understanding, encouraging, and prayerful brothers and sisters in Christ. And it is through them that I felt God's love and presence that goes before me and that never leave me. Hear to us, how did God intervene and how did you encounter Him? I remember one Sunday after work, God spoke to me through one of my colleagues as I shared to her my reluctance to come to church as I am concerned of causing fear among them. And she reminded me that I have nothing to worry about because God is always with me and that I am called to serve in His kingdom. And so His protection and His deliverance, His covering abounds in me and to His people as well. The same thing that I've shared with the life group about my worries and concerns of what will they think of me knowing that I am directly in contact and caring for the COVID patients. But you know that God is so, so good through His people. Instead of um, feeling discouraged, I really felt their utmost support and encouragement in their prayers and declarations of protection and strength, appreciating our dedication as frontliners with the COVID crisis. And it is in this Psalms 91 that I find my greatest rock-solid assurance of His um, constant protection and deliverance as I continue to press on coming to Him in relationship and of course continue serving in His kingdom and His people amidst this Christ. So a lot of us would like to know about your learnings, your takeaways from this situation. God is still in control and God alone is our hope. I know that God is always with me, not just in this time of COVID crisis, but in every season, in every single moment of every single day. And amidst uncertainties of this pandemic crisis, let us choose to hope that this too shall pass and hope that we will end victoriously as Jesus have won it all for you and me. And I want to share to you about Psalms 91 verse 4. He will cover you with His wings. He will be safe in His care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. He is our fortress and our deliverer, our protector. Thank you so much, Mikar, for your inspiring and amazing testimony. Our heartfelt thanks to you. And thank you for your dedication for serving not only the people, but most importantly, for serving our God. 
To all our frontliners and our health workers, you are our modern-day heroes. Thank you for serving humanity without reservations. Our salute and prayers to you all. May God's protection be upon you. Friends, you just heard an amazing story. Do share us yours. Because just like you, your story matters. Keep safe, everyone. Always choose hope over fear. I'm sending you love, but Jesus loves you more. Tune in for more hashtag hope over fear stories. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.